What's up guys, aloha. My name is Edwin and today we have a special guest, Amelia, my wife. So on this episode, we are going to go video game hunting and we also go, are going to review Prince Waikiki, which is where we stay for our one year anniversary. Damn! So now, Amelia's gonna tell us our little review of Prince Waikiki. So Prince Waikiki, it is the hotel in Waikiki Beach. And we were hesitant about going there, but after seeing some extra reviews and Costco deals, we decided to go there and it was unbelievable. Um, in the sense that it was very clean, pretty high end, and it's relatively affordable for the area. Um, there were also um, activities that we could do inside the hotel, like accessing their infinity pool and going to the gym. And again, it was very clean. Um, I think that there are very few hotels that are that clean. And we also had, um, sounds weird to say, but it, we had um, water bottles that were provided by the hotel every day uh, because water is actually very expensive in Hawaii. did we save money in Hawaii? What else did we do? So tips and tricks in Hawaii, what we learned at least in Oahu, because that's the island where, where we went, is that you can um, say, um, book a, when you book a trip, don't go and decide that, okay, you're also gonna get a car instantly because you can actually go to Waikiki and rent a car like the smart car and in the footage you're going to see the smart car that we rented in Hawaii from the 808 smart car company um, they had a sale of three days for $99 and that was relatively cheap comparison to what other places were offering we also save in parking by being able to Park and public parking, which is actually also secured by the police. Polices are there at all times uh, roaming around the public parking area in Waikiki Beach. And it was a dollar an hour, even overnight. So I know, say like the hotels, including Waikiki, Prince Waikiki, um, they charge $30 uh, for per day just to keep the car in within their premises but I mean a couple of steps um, farther that's where you can find the public parking oh and also we'll save money by going to McDonald's and using our app with that being said we are going to look at footage from Jurassic Valley which is Kualu. Kualu. Kualua. Kualua. <laughs> and that is a 4,000 acre park. Damn! Which is very beautiful and is 22 miles away from Waikiki. So let's go ahead and check it out. What's up, guys? So we are here at Ku. Aloha, and this is where they film Jurassic Park. They call it the Jurassic Valley. Life cannot be contained.
All right, guys, so now let's go ahead and let's get into the video game hunting footage. We did go to uh, Goodwill. We went to a vintage store where they sell mostly clothes. I thought they, they had uh, video games, but they didn't. But they, had, they still had some cool collectibles that were not for sale. We also went to Book Off where there was a big section on video games and also books. Now, I was filming in a rush because it was the last day and we were going to the Jurassic Valley. Uh, so we didn't have that much time. But let's go ahead and check out what we saw. Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show!
All right, guys, so that was our journey in Hawaii where we celebrate our anniversary and we went video game hunting. Any last comments on Hawaii, Amelia? Mm, last comments, last comments. I mean, I think I could go on and on and on, but I think the most important part right here is to try to convince Edwin that we should go move to Hawaii because here, Amelia loves the weather. Um, Weather-wise, it's very humid and it makes your skin feels smooth, very moisturized. The hair feels amazing. Um, it doesn't get frizzy because the hair is always moisturized. And I mean, you can be out there all night and you really don't need a sweater because the weather is just perfect. And your lungs even open up because there's actually air here in LA. I mean, I love LA, but uh, the air, and you know, you breathe in and you breathe out smog it's like you're smoking but in hawaii i mean the air is different level of quality um let's see food wise food is not very different from ours uh, anything that you can do can get here in la you can get it there especially this one place that we visited el chile relleno is one of the best mexican foods that i've ever tasted even though i've grown up eating a lot of mexican food and i'm very picky about my mexican food i would say um, El Chile Relleno has one of the best views, one of the best prices, and most importantly, one of the best foods. Um, and they also have moral values that are very high. And anywhere you go, actually, you can step into the beach and the water is pristine, it's clean and it's very warm so not like overwhelmingly warm but just perfectly there like where you can step into the water and not scream because the water is too cold it's very refreshing and yeah everyone is so friendly everyone greets you there um and there's even more ways to save around like taking public transportation for 275 one way and there's so many stores like at, at the international market and you can even look at luau's for free because they're just about everywhere like we were able to see our luau um at the international marketplace for free just by being on the second floor and it, they have a luau every day at 5 p.m so just if you guys can put in the comments that Edwin should go and move to Hawaii like that. Maybe you can help me convince him that we should go live over there. I think that would be great. I would greatly appreciate it. Seriously, honestly. And yeah, sorry Edwin. I'm going to be taking over your channel talking about Hawaii now. <laughs> go on, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for this episode. We thank you guys for tuning in, for checking it out. And don't forget to comment that he should move to Hawaii hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe again when we reach 100 subscribers we're gonna have a giveaway maybe two maybe three all right so you guys have a good rest of the day and we'll catch you on the next video mahalo